All right, so students are still getting programs to direct the numbers, and today we're gonna fix that. I made up a rap. So DJ, run the track. Um, well, obviously it's a, a classroom, so I don't have a DJ. Um, Miss Ramda, would you care to play the table for me, please? All right. Let's go. When the signs are different, find the difference. When the signs are the same, find the sum. The answer takes the sign of the larger number, and this is for addition and subtraction. <laughs> All right. So let's see what that means. When the signs are different, we find the difference. And what does the difference mean? It means to subtract. When the signs are the same, we find the sum. Reminding you that the sum means to add. The answer takes the sign of the larger number, and this is for addition and subtraction. So let's test that theory, because it's only for addition and subtraction. So negative 4 plus 2, our first example. When the signs are different, we find the difference. So the signs are different. Here we can see that. So we find the difference. What's the difference between 4 and 2? 2 is correct. And the answer always takes the sign from the larger number. So you go by the larger number and you steal his side. And his side is a negative. So your answer is negative 2. Let's try another one. Negative 3, negative 2. When the signs are different, we find the difference. When the signs are the same, we find the sum. Here we can see that the signs are the same, so we find the sum. And the sum of 3 and 2 is, in fact, Five. The answer takes the sign of the larger number, and the larger number is 3, so you take the sign from the larger number. Let's look at one more. Negative 4 plus 6. When the signs are different, we find the difference. The difference between 4 and 6 is 2. And the answer takes the sign of the larger number, and the larger number is positive 6, so you leave your answer as positive 2.